I'm sure there are hunters that can't understand why we choose traditional over other methods which would more than likely grant us more success but to us it's way more than just success traditional for me is just not not just the way I shoot and the equipment I shoot it's much more than that it's kind of a, a method to how I hunt and how I view hunting I've hunted with other methods before and it just didn't appeal to me any, anymore it just wasn't it wasn't fun but when I switched to traditional archery uh, the fun came back the satisfaction came back I've kind of limited myself to shot distance and there's been plenty of times where I've had nice bucks shooters out there at 25 or 30 yards and all I could do is watch them because it's outside of my self-imposed limit on how far I can shoot a deer uh, and so for some people that's hard to understand you know I still have that memory I might not have the antlers on the wall or the meat in the freezer um, but I still have that memory one of the ways that we extend our season is we'll use our bicycles to access places that are closed to motorized vehicles and allows us to get way back in and not have as much competition from other hunters. And so when you look at all the things that we do to add a dimension to our hunt, whether it be boats or bicycles or traditional archery, sometimes the, the camo I wear is different and it just adds a new dimension to the hunt for me. From a young age, I've always had artistic ability and creative ability, um, and making arrows helps fuel that. And to me, it's not just you know making arrows; it's 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 art to me, which is why I like to choose the color combinations and choose the feathers, and uh, have established my own crest. It brings a lot of enjoyment to me uh, outside of just hunting, but it allows me to you know, fuel my artistic side by, you know, building arrows. This year, my son and I went on a swan hunt and we chose traditional archery equipment to go, you know, on a bow hunt for one. And we've drawn many tags and each time was very, very enjoyable. Uh, but the last few times we've gone, we just thought it was entirely too easy. And we learned that the way they decoy, uh, it would definitely be a challenge to shoot them with archery equipment, but we also felt like uh, it was very, very good possibility that we could kill one with a bow. Uh, every year, the North Carolina Bow Hunters Association hosts a rabbit hunt, so it's always fun to go try to shoot one with a bow. It's just a great time when we all get together. Uh, it's not unlike a 3D shoot. Uh, except it's moving animals. Everybody's out there having a good time. We, we eat lunch and when times are slow, we take a tennis ball with us. And the great thing about shooting a tennis ball in the field is it's such a small ball. Uh, it helps you aim small, miss small. And so when you think about the concept of traditional archery, some people can't understand how if I would take my rifle I don't have to worry about the wind. I don't have to worry about my camo. I can shoot one at 100 to 200 yards and it'd be over with. I could stick the antlers up on my wall, but that just doesn't bring me satisfaction to do that anymore. It it's, brings me greater satisfaction and I have to be a better hunter for me able to get deer in uh, under 20 yards. I have to watch the wind. I have to be careful of my camo. Uh, I have to be careful of my movement. I have to be careful uh, of the way I actually walk to the stand. I have to choose my stand sites more specifically because I do have to get closer. And as I said before, there'll be plenty of opportunities where I go home empty-handed and that's okay with me.